You are not the same. Your eyes, your ears, every thread of skin in your fingerprint, every unit of your existence, you are not the same as anyone. You are original, you are unique, you are special, and you are not the same. Because you have been blessed with individual characteristics and individual creativity, a specialty like never before seen and never again to be seen. So search. Search deep inside and find where your creative potential lies because you are a masterpiece. You know, life is really not like a box of chocolates. I mean, sure, it's sticky and, and messy and gooey and people melt sometimes, which is kind of gross, but no. Life is, life is a lot more like an unfinished sentence. Life is, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm an actor and uh, I, I mostly just do plays here and there for school, uh, sometimes in the community. I use polymer clay to make jewelry pieces and accessories like buttons. Uh, my art is photography. I tend to look for things that are more abstract um, and uh, less noticed. Uh, my art is uh, painting, specifically like watercolor painting and henna. Um, so when I was younger, uh, my parents exposed me and my siblings to a lot of different like different types of um, activities, including like uh, different types of painting. And for me in particular, like painting, I really loved. Um, so I kind of stuck with it. Really, photography sort of been something that's been passed down in the family. Um, my grandpa's had a few photography stores, and my dad sort of picked it up. I, I felt it was a great means to express myself and put how I feel, um, tell a little bit about my story, and hopefully other people could connect with me. I feel like in a photo, you can really capture a mood um, or multiple different moods, um, and it sort of it's, puts it all together in a very um, artistic fashion. The first time I really started doing drama was in grade 9 in drama class. I excelled at it because I wasn't afraid to push my comfort zone, especially on stage. The feeling of, of playing a different character and not being judged for, for who you are, just being able to express yourself in, it, in whatever way you wanted, it, it, uh, it really excited me. So my mom got me into crafts when I was at a very young age and I've been exploring different crafts like embroidery, cross-stitching, crochet, and I've actually tried woodworking in high school as well. I think about five years ago is when I started uh, experimenting with polymer clay. I started improving and developing my techniques until I started making my own jewelry. I think the inspiration comes when I'm studying. <laughs> Uh, it mostly comes when I'm studying, it's just like, whoa, what if I made a button that had this and this and that? And I'm like, but I can't procrastinate, I can't do this. Okay, okay, just keep the idea at the back of your head. And then by the winter break or something is when I have a list of all the ideas that I had in my mind and I finally make them all at one batch and it's very satisfying. <laughs> Usually I, when I have my camera on me, I'd be walking around and I'd sort of be scoping, looking around the room, looking around wherever I am, um, just thinking about the different angles and the different kinds of photos I can take. Um, I try to avoid um, photos that anyone else would take, so generally I, I would never take, like I try to avoid photos of the CN Tower and like, like certain places in Toronto that everyone goes and takes photos at just because I feel like it comes down to the fact that I don't like um, 
replicating, really. I feel like the idea behind photography is to express yourself, right? Rather than just express what everyone else is expressing. Usually when I have like an idea for a piece, I kind of like jot it down in like a notebook or something, and I usually sketch out the piece. Um, and like, I'm also like very particular, so um, before I do that, I usually like, uh, I draw out the piece in like pencil before I like actually paint it. Um, and that usually takes more time than the painting itself. So the first step for me is uh, really figuring out the mannerisms and the movements of the character, their body language, the way they express themselves uh, using their arms and legs. Uh, and then the next step for me is really getting the voice down. Uh, you know, the, the, the roughness in their voice or, or, or the pitch, hi, hello. Um, and then uh, after that, finding the, the similarities between the character and myself. What character traits do we have in common? And then I try to zoom in on that and, uh, and just express those to the audience. Put yourself out there and, uh, and even if you have like a mild interest in acting or you think you, you might like it, just, just go out and audition for something. Um, because there's so many opportunities on campus or, or even like in Hamilton. Or I know if you've heard of Streetwise Actors, they offer like free acting lessons. Um, so there's a, a tons of opportunities to get involved and just, just try it. And, uh, and I think you'll like it. Um, as like cliche as it sounds, like the only thing that's stopping you from pursuing like whatever you want is your own like fear of failure, for example. Like I, I hear so many people saying that like, you know, like I'm not gonna be good at this or I'm not good at this, this is why I don't try. Like there's nothing like that, like especially for something like painting um, and watercolor painting in particular, like it's, it, it's so subjective. And like you can't be bad at it, in my opinion. And also, like um, you know, mashallah, we have so much talent within our the community, especially on campus. Um, if you're looking to get into something, I like highly suggest you reach out to someone and be like, hey, can you help me out with this? Because nobody's gonna say no. And like that's like the first step. Take as many photos as you can, and go home, look at them, and see whichever ones you feel um, match up with what you're trying to convey. Okay, it might not be the best angle. It might not have the best lighting. Um, but again, you shouldn't be doing it for the Instagram likes or whatever the heck it is. You should really be doing it because that's the photo that you felt was exactly what you wanted to, what you wanted to convey. Um, also, I highly recommend that people edit their photos and I feel like there's a bit of a stigma around that, um, which I find a little ridiculous because it's a tool that's out there. It will definitely enhance your game. Um, and there's no shame in that. There's no shame in seeking out the tools that will um, help you improve your art. And, um, you know, the photo behind me is actually probably edited. <laughs> it's never too late to find your art, and it's never too late to find a new hobby. Just explore. Find your passion. What's your art? What's your art? What's your art? What's your art? Creativity has no limit, creativity has no restriction. Because you see, the horizons of art are limited only by the eyes of its beholder. And everyone has the potential for creativity. So the question is, what is your art? What's your art? That was a little slur. What's your art? What is your art? Hey, what's your art, huh? What is it? Okay, tell me, huh? let's, let's, let's work together, you know, let's figure this thing out. You wanna try some acting? We're gonna try some acting. What's your art? Hmm? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Let's go out there and try something. Sounds fun too, right? But like, let's, you know, let's just try some new things, figure it out, see what you like, why, you know, dabble, dabble in a little bit of everything, maybe get that paintbrush going. Paint the rest of your life.